Uh, when I told my parents that I would be doing an apprenticeship, they were really pleased because I, I told them what it would, would entail. Basically, I would be working full time, but also be learning, get a qualifi qualification that is recognised by employers, and also um, earning a little bit of money. So I don't think that they were dis uh, they weren't disappointed at all that I didn't go to straight to university. I also explained to them that there are other routes afterwards when I finish, so I can progress on to do a, a higher level, or I could go and do a, a degree if I wanted to. But I think that they were really, really pleased with my choice. Jobs with training are offered to young people when they leave education to enable them to gain further qualifications once they're in the world of work. Jobs with training are a great idea because not only do you get the experience but you also get the qualifications and you're getting paid at the same time. So there's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't do one. You, you're actually learning on the job, so you're getting the skills and knowledge and experience in the job, but then also it's also backed up by the teaching by the tutor on a weekly basis. I think the um, apprenticeship scheme is very, uh, very tempting. In Carl Zeiss they get to try everything. They get to try all the jobs and see exactly what suits them, what they really enjoy doing, which I think is, I mean, if you're not sure exactly what you want to do, I mean, this is perfect, isn't it? I think jobs of training are really important because you're not just, it, there's so much room for progression after that, or you could, if they didn't, sort of take, want to take you on throughout that company, you could take those qualifications with you wherever you go and earn yourself a good position higher up than you would have without them somewhere else. So jobs with training works where a young person might work for an employer and attend four days a week um, and then the other day they would go to a local college and study the qualification that's most relevant to the work that they were doing. Um, another way that it might work is that um, they would work full time for that employer and an assessor would come out to see them at the workplace. The marvellous thing about becoming an apprentice is the opportunity that it gives you. And these days there is so much opportunity in the world of apprenticeships with all sorts of career areas that it is a fabulous way of getting really good well recognised qualifications. I definitely think that apprenticeships more so now have become a, a, a great alternative to university. Um, obviously, you, you know, we don't incur the student loan costs that a lot of the students are uh, incurring at the moment. And um, yeah, it's more of a practical minded subject that you can't learn at, really at university. It's best to be out here on the shop floor doing it for yourself. I came in with GCSEs um, and the apprenticeship initially started with a sort of engineering introductory course, which lasted one year. Uh, then I did a BTEC in uh, electronics and then two years after that I did uh, an HNC in electronics and then uh, continued on and uh, did a degree. Since I joined as an apprentice throughout the entire time I've been at college and at university, um, Michelle has paid me while I'm at college and paid for all of my college fees. By the end of the apprenticeship I have uh, MVQ level 3, BTEC level 3, um, at, at a minimum. I and many of the other apprentices at this company are hoping to achieve at least an HNC um, and then go on to do an HND if possible and then if you can uh, a degree is also a possibility um, all paid for whilst being paid to work. Regardless of whether I was to do an apprenticeship or university there was always the opportunity to do a degree and hopefully go on to do, do a master's degree. A few of my mates that have just finished their degrees now um, some of them have got jobs um, but others are really struggling to, to get jobs and it's a real shame that they've spent all that time studying and working hard and they, they can't get a look in. So if they'd done an apprenticeship, they, they wouldn't be in that situation. My parents loved that I decided to do an apprenticeship. They thought it was a really a good idea because they know that I'd prefer learning hands-on to just pure academics. I think it's a better way of learning. I don't work well in a classroom setting. I like to be doing things, so that's how I learn. Um, so that this job gives me that. My parents think that it's a very, they're very supportive of what I do and they think it's quite cool that I'm coming into this area of work being that I'm a female and that I've made this and I've fitted in so well and I'm enjoying what I do so they're, they're very supportive and they, they're happy and proud of what I'm doing. When I told my parents about uh, what I wanted to do 
their advice to me was an apprenticeship as well. So. I think jobs with training for young people are, are important because you're developing real skills for real work. You're developing something that's required and there's a shortfall of it in industry and, 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 it's, uh, and it can take you to places that you'd never dreamed of. Well, the message I would, I would give to parents is that um, it is, an, it is an, an increasingly competitive market, the job market, and of course all parents want to give their children the best start in life. I would say it doesn't always mean university. There are other routes to get to the same end goal, and uh, um, sometimes those routes may actually give you an advantage. So um, leave no stone unturned would be my advice.